from Salon entitled, I'm a pedophile but I'm not a monster, you guys would know the infamous ideology of defending pedophilia. Like, these people are practically saying that it's okay to be a fucking pedophile as long as you don't act on it. Like, <coughs> what? What has this world gone to? And now, just recently, at least as far as I'm aware, Salon has made a video defending pedophilia once more. And, um, I should probably warn you guys, you should get a fucking barf bag for this. And she was just standing there watching me, and I remember looking up and just seeing her and just going, wow, she's beautiful i knew i was in deep i you know i had fallen for the girl the last thing i wanted to do was hurt her way he's not talking about a grown woman he's talking about a very very little girl a girl that barely understand the concept of consent i took on a, a regular babysitting gig. She was five. Uh, she was a precocious girl. She was advanced for her age. She was also very independent. A lot of my fantasies actually revolve around little girls who are in some way more powerful than I am. We already have those. We call them dominatrixes. Some guys are into being dominated. Who knew? Eventually my attraction became, you know, overwhelming to the point I had to go relieve myself in the bathroom. Justifying his pedophilia ness. You know, you're supporting pedophiles. You don't realize that. And he's telling everyone in that particular video that he had to do this after seeing a little girl. Do, 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 do you guys not understand what the fuck you assholes doing? That's when I had to leave town and get my head straightened out. I didn't abuse her because I knew the harm that it could cause. Also, you know, remembering the fact that I was abused, it probably contributed to my own sexuality developing. That, my friend, is where you start to seek help because anyone who is, I don't know, struggling in life would seek some help from somebody else mainly from a fucking doctor people like you should be locked up in a fucking insane asylum but you know we live in a time where now you know people who are like trans able are now becoming accepted by a few people mainly social justice warriors because, you know, gender is a social construct. Humanity itself is a social construct. Nothing is true. Everything is... Yeah. I have never sexually abused a child, and I never will. Now, I've gotten to know a lot of pedophiles online. My sense is that we're a much larger group than society actually thinks we are. That's something new. Pedophiles apparently have their own circle jerk now. Like, do you guys go to some sort of meeting and talk about how beautiful this little girl's ass is? Mm. Yeah, six-year-old ass. She looks adorable. Oh, oh. 
The terms uh, pedophile and child molester are used interchangeably. This is wrong. A pedophile is, strictly speaking, somebody who has a sexual attraction to children. It's important to realize that not all pedophiles are child molesters and not all child molesters are pedophiles. That is incredibly fucking stupid. Imagine if someone were to say, you know, you're not gay if you suck dick. Like, if you enjoy sucking dick. Because, you know, you're not gay. Because yeah. dick. When I first told all of my family, they had a hard time dealing with it. They had a hard time reconciling what they knew about me versus the, you know, what they thought they knew about pedophiles. Who can blame them? I went through a, a severe bout of depression and, and social anxiety that lasted a few years. A lot of that was basically me coming to realize that I wasn't going to have a family, I wasn't going to fall in love with a woman and have a normal life. It's why people seek help in the first place, you fucking dipshit. I'm resigned to the fact that, uh, you know, I'm basically going to spend the rest of my life alone. This is not something I chose. What person in their right mind would choose to be the most reviled sexuality in the world? Sexuality is a fucking mental illness, for fuck's sakes! Oh. <laughs> You chose not to seek help. Instead, you chose to, you know, be a fucking pedophile. It's not a goddamn sexuality that, you know, you were born with. No fucking proof of that. Ugh. My purpose is basically to go out and educate people, allowing people like myself to uh, to express themselves, to, to come out and uh, be open. Society makes it harder by persecuting us because a lot of us become fatalistic. Are you fucking kidding me? If I knew someone, you know, who has an attraction to children, I would not make my children go near this person. I would make sure that this person stays far away as possible from children. So that way, he won't do any harm to my kids, and my kids will never have to be near him ever fucking again. I don't trust anyone who has an attraction to fucking little children. Because the next thing you know, they might start... You know what I'm thinking. We just start to think it doesn't matter what we do or say, they're going to hate us anyway. We need to find some kind of middle ground where society and pedophiles can come together. We love kids, we want to protect them too, you know. You want to coexist with society? Then do us all a favor and seek some fucking help. I am the Atheist Gamer and keep gaming on. We're on society's side on that.